있습니다. 알로레 io sono la Irma. sono nata nel 36 con la mia età e e e vi faccio vedere oggi la tradizione di anni anni dietro di mille anni sicuro è una specialità di di Palù e e si chiamano croffe Irma lives in the mountain village of Palu del Fazina she and her family run the hotel Rosa Alpina and croffen are cabbage leek and cheese ravioli Irma first makes the filling. She uses two types of cabbage, white and savoy. She chops up half the white and boils it until it is soft. E ho già preparato e diventa così. She has already prepared the savoy cabbage in the same way. Irma then slices up both very finely. She rinses then cuts up a leek and sautés it in a little oil. E poi si mette questo, si mette rosolare un po'. Irma likes to get ahead and she adds another chopped leek to the pan. When the leeks have softened, Irma adds them to the cabbage. Next, she grates a mixture of aged cheeses. There should be 13 different kinds for optimal flavour. Adesso il formaggio che varie tipi e un po' saporito sarebbe meglio che fresco fresco. Emma uses local cheeses which don't all have a name. Next she adds a handful of breadcrumbs and uses her hands to make sure everything is mixed together thoroughly. Bisogna mettere ancora un po' di formaggio. Interno l'ho fatto. Non serve altro. Adesso vi faccio la pasta. Irma uses 75% wheat and 25% rye flours for the pasta. She adds a pinch of salt and then gradually mixes in warm water to make a dough. Con l'acqua tiepida si lascia lavorare meglio. She kneads it for about five minutes. The dough should rest for at least 15 minutes. Irma does not want the dough too thin as the filling is quite bulky. She uses her hands and her wrists to roll it out. This is about three millimeters thick. She places walnut sized balls of the filling at 10 centimeter intervals along the dough, then folds it over. Irma cups her hands over the filling to remove as much air as possible. Then she uses a pastry cutter to make pillow-shaped crop fen. Traditionally, these ravioli were made at the end of the summer when cheeses had a chance to mature. Irma says only 10 people in her village still make them. This area was settled by Germans five centuries ago, hence the unusual name. Irma repeats the process until she has enough to feed the pasta granny's team. She places the ravioli a few at a time in barely simmering water. They should be poached rather than boiled. Irma adds a little cold water to stop the pan from bubbling too much. Meanwhile, Irma melts plenty of butter and sautés some sage leaves. Three crop fen are plenty for a serving, and it's Andrea, my cameraman's turn to try them. Ecco pronti allora, signore. Mmm, saporitissimi. Formaggio, super cheesy. Il formaggio che distrutto. Very, very good. I advise you to try it. Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.